Get the lead out. Ammo crate. Damn, look at this place. Anyone attacks now, we're gonna look like burger patties. All part of the thrill, right, brother? You got some cojones. But all you gotta do is look up. This whole joint's looking to come down on our heads anytime. Telling you, man, live around here long enough and we'd all wind up looking like them kids back there. No hope, no future. How did it all end up this way, man? That is actually a really good question because. Base? Where's that Rondi? Should be at your two o'clock. Look for a flashlight. See it. Over there. Man needs new batteries. It's Morse code. I ain't seen that in years. What's next? Smoke signals? Whoa! We got company! <laughs> Let's give them a warm Well, if you welcome. let me get by, I can start shooting. They're in the air, too! This is bullshit! I got the aerial unit. Gonna blast them out of the sky! Just a bit more. Cut it out! You all right, Dan? You need my help? Uh, I got it. Don't be reckless. You got me? Ah, that's why. That one. Man, they just don't give up. Thank you. All right, that takes care of the aerial threat. Like that. We ain't no pushovers, bitches! Alright, now I have a machine gun, ho ho ho. And I'm losing this cutscene. We're still in the first chapter, apparently. Oh shit, don't this boy ever get tired? <sighs> Shut up and jump! Yeah! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> that scrap head is really starting to bug me. Fire in the hole! Shit! Oh, whoa! ポンブチョ、六本木でもレッドアラートです。警備行動中のグランランサーから機能停止信号。堤防に侵入した連中だな。ナイプレイドエイドベット。そのようです。グランランサーを倒したのか。えらく重装備で来たもんだ。ポン
I like to make an entrance. So, you must be Charlie. It's Commander Charles Gregory to you, thanks. British Division. Yeah. X and my six, right? I kinda guessed that. Was that a Is it supposed to be me? Yeah. Okay. We all are. It's good to tell good this to tell that they're doing a bad job with the yeah. accent. Please don't have this be a Sergeant clunky Dan romance. Marshall, ex Special Forces. Sergeant Roy Botang. Did up. So, I'm to babysit you two then, yeah? Think you can stay out of trouble in future. Well, what can I say? They started it. Base to be to one. At London Clear Base. Sorry to burden you with my clowns. No disrespect intended, sir, but you Yanks do tend to make a lot of noise. Know what I mean? Not all of us, Gregory. Just those two. <laughs> so, where's everybody That's else? That's everybody else. Well, the French are already inside the city. They said there'd be a Chinese squad, too. That's going to end up being our love interest. The file photo doesn't do her justice. She looks familiar. Reminds me of an actress or someone. Come on, Bo. You know the only movies you watch are porn. <clears throat> oh, yeah, right. With the... Mm, yeah. <laughs> hey. Really? Oh, good Excuse lord. Me. Excuse this me. This is the worst. Hi. The, this, I'm Dan. The worst. And that is my partner, Bo. My squad Meow. is the actual worst. Ah, the strong and silent type, huh? You are like terrible, horrible Maybe human beings. if you pair learnt some manners, she might not be so silent. Yeah, well, rough with the smooth, man. So, like, this is all China's characters China in Gears of War huh? are actual, woman? just, like, they're cliches, the but they're kind of, of the reassuring cliches. My two subordinates were killed by security cliches, but they're robots on okay the way cliches. Here. Cliches. They're, oh, they're dumb, Listen, but they're forgivable we didn't mean dumb. No disrespect. And then there's... Hard to believe you're the one they call survivor. These two maroons. Well, appearances can be deceiving. <sighs> Ain't that special. Just real lucky. No luck. Well, that's good. It's like... Because we could all it, it's do like, a bit of luck. They looked at the Gears... Because the Japs consider anyone without official ID said, as you know an invading hostile. So, people really like... We're all in the crosshairs. Baird. Speaking of, sir, we'd better be moving. Right, beta one to base. And cold Now moving to first contact rendezvous. Roger that. Base out. So now we just have some Baird and cold train. Your flood zone. And we don't have this any of the other characters from Gears. The 21st century started off pretty bad, and only got worse. Sea levels rose. Now we're getting our freaking went to hell. exposition. Three quarters of the major cities around the world were flooded, ruined, and uninhabited. This would have been nice to get earlier in the game. Local and national authorities rebuilt upward, above the waterline. Whole new cities, using the old as foundations, and leaving the lower layers, the flood layers, to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Robots. I call them scrapheads. But then, I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amida Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology. But by then, Bergen was already huge, and Amida lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. And thanks to them, the USA Bergen is in is fact actually the bad guys of the superpower. game. I haven't even read anything I know. AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21, which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, as the media called them. Forty years later, a 
Hollow Child. We've already Bergen's seen this information already. You're just reiterating this. He didn't just fool the humans. He seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRPA, Yes, we've gotten this already. Wow, this is like technology. This is a really late info me. dump. We probably the should have gotten this set up really a early task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention, especially Clause 21. We've got full support from the US military, which is where I used to work anyway. <laughs> Some things never change. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan. Because the US suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amada, legendary robotics genius and the founder of Amada Corporation. We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva at any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrapheads that try to stop us along the way. <laughs> I sure hope they try. And a late title card. There it is. That first level's info dump could have been handled better or put in earlier. Um, that is the best writing we've had for Dan thus far in the giant clunky info dump from the very beginning of the, of the level. <laughs> 